This research will help us understand the question that I think is of fundamental interest to, to people about where we came from and, and what are the conditions that support life like ours. These divers will descend to about 76 feet water depth and then they will be uh, swimming over what would look like a purple, uh, a thick purple mat, think of a, a thick purple carpet. We are on the research vessel Storm and we're sitting just above the Middle Island sinkhole in Lake Huron. Our interest in being here is to study these cyanobacterial mats that we think represent microbial mats that were present through long stretches of Earth's history. Our general aim of studying the sinkhole is to understand how biology or biological processes might actually explain different patterns in Earth's oxygenation or geological time scales. This is a great environment for these microbial mats because we have low oxygen, sulfur-rich waters that are excluding typical Lake Huron plant and animal life. The groundwater that emerges from the sinkhole picks up sulfur and salts in the subsurface and then vents into the bottom of the lake and that leaves an open niche for these cyanobacterial mats to thrive. We want to understand how oxygen was produced on an early Earth. The only significant biological source of oxygen on Earth and those are cyanobacteria and those have evolved billions of years ago. We are looking to recover samples that we'll use to conduct experiments back in the lab. We're also deploying a variety of equipment that will take measurements and monitor conditions as they exist on the lake floor. As soon as these samples are retrieved, we are now looking in depth into the activity of the, the cyanobacteria, trying to understand what controls their oxygen protection. The length of day changed over geological timescales, and we're proposing that the change of day length um, is a really important factor in shaping oxygen production. A planetary phenomena that combined with the biology and the chemistry could help to explain why oxygen was, was not produced until more recent times. To the best of our knowledge, we're indeed the first ones to propose that uh, changes in day length and the effect on biology could actually explain major shifts in oxygen production on Earth.